So we're going to start to talk now about changing the subject of a particular algebraic equation, or sometimes it will say a transformation of a formula. Now, I'll start very easy, and then as we uh, proceed, we'll get a little bit harder questions, yeah? But you need to understand the easy ones if you want to be able to understand the harder ones. So let's say I have m uh, plus n equals 7, and they ask me, make n the subject, and usually they put it in brackets behind it. So make n the subject. Now, what does that mean? Then it, uh, that means that I should try, or that I have to make it say n equals and then everything else, yeah? So one n equals, and on the other side of the equal sign, all the other terms. Well, what do I have to do in this case then? I have to, have to get rid of that m, yeah? And I do that by minus it by m on both sides, of course, yeah? So for this problem, the answer would be n equals 7 minus m. Now n is the subject. Okay, because it says 1n equals 7 minus m. All right, so one more example. What if it says 2x plus 8y equals 14, and I have to make x the subject. So it should say, yeah, my aim is for it to say x equals, and then all the other terms. Okay, well, it doesn't say it like that yet, so I am going to manipulate it and say, well, 2x equals 14 minus 8y, yeah? Well, x is not the subject yet because it says 2x, and it has to say x, just 1x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 now, so that's going to be 7 minus 4y. Now x is the subject, so that would be my answer. Okay, so these are two relatively easy examples. Um, just to, to show you the basics, what it means to make a particular variable the subject. But now please go to my next videos where we're going to discuss some more complicated examples. But I'm sure you'll find there too. I'll see you there.